Hello, YouTubers. This is the Redstone Prince showing you how to make your very own combination lock door. Now, you see here I have an item frame and gunpowder named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All around. That's the combination. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. So, I have the combination right here, 4, 2. So set this to 4, that's 4. Put it to 4. And set this one to 2. And guess what? The door opens. Oh, wait, there's another door behind. So, we use the other code, 8, 8. Ah, shit, I love that. 8, 8. And now that door over there is open, and that door's still open too. You walk through, this way closes that door, and you're in your house. Here's the basics of how it works. It takes a really, a fairly long time to build. <clears throat> to build. So I'm not going to show you how to build it right now. I'm going to show you the basics of how to make it. If you want me to show you how to build it, please tell me in the comments below. So first, you're going to need your main trail. How I did this, I used a comparator to tell how this, um, in what position this was in. Right now, it's in the position 4. So the signal goes 1, 2, 3, 4. No, sorry, it's in position 8. It goes down here. Uh, sorry, what position is this thing in? Position 8, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 4, show you what it's like. Ah, shoot, I love that. Show you what it's like when it's activated. So the signal strength is 1, 2, 3, 4. It turns off this redstone torch here so that there's no signal powering to this. Comparators are really cool things. They can tell you how much of something is in something that can hold things, such as a hopper or a chest, a joker box, a trap chest, really cool. Also, if the signal behind them is stronger than either of the signals next to them, the signal will flow through. If this signal were to be, if this were to be on, the signal next to the comparator would be stronger than the signal behind so the signal would not flow through. Let me show you what it's like when the signal is stronger. So, when the signal is five um, spaces strong, one, two, three, four, five, it activates this repeater, which repeats the signal back to this. And now the signal here is stronger than the signal here. So the redstone does not go through. That's how to basically make the locks. That's how to set the combination. You can do this as many times as you want. I only have it with two here. Over here, I've made all the ways you can do it. This is with set it, the setting is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you want to make your Okay, I would advise pausing the video now and making the locks. Alright, I'm assuming you've made that. Make sure you put an item frame in front. You, you don't have to put this right here, although I find it very helpful. Just remember that 1 is at the top and 8 is right there. 1 at the top, 8 right there. Now, after you've done that, so, when the signal reaches to here, I'm going to show you what it's like when both of them are in the right position, and they can open the door. So now, the signal is not going through. So the signal is not going through in here, so it is going through here. What that does, it pushes this block right here which pushes the redstone block onto this path 
which connects to that block there, which connects to the door. So that will open the door for you. Now, uh, when I first made this, I ran into a problem. There's no way to close the door behind you. You can't pull, pull a lever or something. And also, someone, if someone, if, an, if a hostile person came near, they just saw the combination right there. So, here's my, in, here's my genius plan. Have a second combination. 8-8 eight, eight is the easiest. Because there's no signal stronger than that, so there's no need to have this thing right here. So as you can see, when the signal is eight strong, it it reaches exactly to the torch there, turn it off, there's no signal going to that. The same over here. And there's no signal going to that. So the signal can pass through, and this will open the door right here. Uh, some torches. If you've seen my video on how to make an automatic mob proof door, I fashioned the door very similarly. I'm going to break down here to let you see. See, there's a redstone torch right there that's activated to let this door open. Alright. So, as you can see, <clears throat> turn it to 8 8. And and that door will open. The pistons push this block over here. I stepped on the pressure plate over here, which closes that door over there, as you can see. The pressure plate is connected to a wire. It's connected to a wire, which will push this piston, which will push these blocks back. So the signal, which is holding the door open, is not active. And that is the gist of how to do it. Here again is all the keys. You would lengthen this redstone so that the repeater is touching the comparator on your main stream. Don't forget, put a redstone torch at the end so that if the signal is too weak, give an example of a, of a signal that's too weak, the torch is still on, which makes this signal stronger than that signal, thereby keeping the gate closed. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any ideas on what else I can make out of redstone, please tell me. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. This is the Redstone Prince saying goodbye. And goodbye.